Hello, Hasbro, and welcome to our Class Read session. So we're going to start a new Class Read book this week, which is called Cosmic. It's One Giant Leap for All Boy Kind, and it's written by Frank Cottrell Boyce. So let's have a look at the blurb and see what that says. So it says, Liam Digby is an uh, ordinary 12-year-old boy, a very, very tall, very ordinary 12-year-old boy. Some people even think he's a grown-up. This is, this is the incredible story of how he told some fibs, nearly stole a Porsche, went to the theme park, and sort of by accident ended up in space. So this book here links to our new topic of stargazers. So let's begin and find out the story. So chapter one, I am not exactly in the Lake District. Mom, Dad, if you're listening, you know I said I was going to the South Lakeland Outdoor Activity Centre with the school. To be, to be completely honest, I'm not exactly in the Lake District. To be completely honest, I'm more of sort of in space. I'm on this rocket, the infinite possibility. I'm about 200,000 miles above the surface of, of the Earth. I'm all right-ish. I know I've got some explaining to do. This is more, this is me doing it. I lied about my age. I sort of gave the impression I was about 30. Obviously, I'm more sort of 13-ish on my next birthday. To be fair, everyone lies about their age. Adults pretend to be younger. Teenagers pretend to be older. Children wish they were grown-ups. Growing uh, Grown-ups wish they were children. It's not like I had tr tried very hard, is it? Everyone always thinks I'm older than I am just because I'm tall. In St. Joan of Arc's primary, the teachers seemed to think that the height and the uh, height and age were the same thing. If you were taller than someone, you must be older than them. If you were tall and you made a mistake, even if it was only on your first day, you got you should have you should have known better, big lad like you. Why, by the way, why should a, uh, a big lad know better just because he's big? King Kong's a big lad. Why would he know the way to the toilet block on his first day of school when no one had told him? No, I don't think he would. Anyway, a few hours back, the infinite, infinite possibility was supposed to complete a routine manoeuvre and basically it didn't. I rolled out of an orbit, wrecking all the communication equipment and now I'm very lost in space. I brought this mobile with me because... It's got pictures of home on it. It's also got an audio diary function. That's what I'm looking in, uh, talking into now. Talking makes me feel less lonely. Unless you get this message, you won't know about any of this because this is a secret mission. They said that if it goes wrong, they're going to deny all knowledge of it. And us, the five of us on board, the others are all asleep. Can you believe that, by the way? We're in a rocket spinning hopelessly out of control and into forever. And what is, the cho what is their chosen action, of course? A nap. When we get this manoeuvre just slightly wrong, just slight enough to make us completely doomed, they all scream for about an hour and then they dozed off. I can't sleep. I can't get comfortable in the sleeping bag because they're always too small for me. Plus, I think if I stay awake, I might have an idea and save us all. And that's why I'm recording this on my Drax phone. If I get home, I'm going to give it to you and you'll understand how I ended up in deep space when I was when I said I was going pond dipping in the Lake District. If you're listening to this, though, and you are not my mum and dad, you're probably a pointy headed, 90 legged, sucker, sucker footed alien. In which case, can I just say hello? I come in peace. And if you happen to have the technology, please post this phone to Mr. and Mrs. Digby, 23 Gurnham Close, Bootle, Liverpool, 22 England, the Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, etc. If it's not too much trouble. So that's chapter one. And we're going to explore uh, every day this week and probably into next week how little Liam ended up in space. I hope you enjoyed our first little read and I look forward to reading some more of the story with you tomorrow. Bye.